Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Dow Jones 20,000 points. That was the second fastest 1,000 point trip in history. We've got 2.5% uh, plus in 10-year treasury yields. We are above 2.5%. So everybody expects that there will be inflation coming. Everybody expects that the immense um, quantities of easy money from the Federal Reserve will now start to turn quicker and will find their way into the real economy, which in essence could produce higher inflation. So rates are going up 2.5% on a 10-year horizon. Some traders expect that when Treasury yields go to 3% or above, that would be the limit where it would start to somehow uh, hinder or yeah, hinder the, the equity market rally. The peso went down yesterday. Uh, Donald Trump wants to start building the wall in the coming months. That is possible. He wants to have the first millions to start building from free money that he, he's got in his, um, in his uh, availability. Not privately, of course, but everything that is possible to be used quickly is being used quickly to start build the wall as soon as possible. And first, there will be um, the state actually paying for the wall. And secondly, everything will be uh, taken back through um, a renegotiation of NAFTA, re renegotiation of Mexico trade deals and such. So we've got the Trump momentum rally and we've got um, momentum in politics. So there are a lot of executive orders Yesterday I talked about the pipelines, uh, Dakota Access and um, the oil sands pipeline coming from Canada through the United States to the Gulf of Mexico. Then there were several other executive orders such as to use actually uh, American produced steel to uh, build pipelines. And there's everything he does actually is pro-growth. It might be anti environmental, um, it might be deregulation, increasing the risk tomorrow due to deregulation, but um, it's pro-growth. So markets are actually um, honoring that um, Donald Trump is focusing on this aspect of his politics and has been quieter recently with regards to um, some tweets in international regards. But that will come back, I think, because trade renegotiations and renegotiations of trade deals with other countries is two thirds of his um, income side of his politics. So he wants to decrease the tax rate by 2.6 trillion US dollars. That is what he wants to, that's the cost for infrastructure building and for decreasing the tax rate from 35% to 15 or 20%. And on the other hand, $1.7 trillion should come from the renegotiation of trade deals. So that is something that helps um, the early cyclical equities like banks. They are actually the drivers behind the move. One fifth of the Dow Jones gains since the elections comes or are coming uh, from or at least uh, if you look at the Dow Jones and the gains since the election, 22% of those gains come only from Goldman Sachs. So we'll stock there. And uh, we've got the banks actually are the early gainers, uh, the early cyclicals that are gaining here and profiting from um, the expectation that the growth in the United States will really double until the end of the year.